Sam, can you talk to me at all? Uh, who are you like? Thank God for that. Come on, son. Are you all right, Sam? I'm so relieved, Sam. Are you OK? Perhaps it'd be best if you wait outside. Well, I'm going nowhere to know that he is in the clear. Come on, come on. Hey. Let her do her job. I feel sick to my stomach. If he doesn't come out of this right as rain, I'd... I know. All right? Yeah, just waiting for Jay. He's late. You've been dressed up for fetching and carrying, aren't you? All right, Andy, there ain't a shaman's van outside, is there? Uh, yeah, just pulling up. Oh. <laughs> Lisa! Oh, that's a welcome. Sorry, I was just... I was expecting Jay, that's all. Oh, well, you're not, as it happens. Some family stuff's come up, so he's asked me to run you into town instead. Great, OK. What are we waiting for? <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh. oh, lucky. <laughs> you made me jump. You did seem a bit spaced. Oh, it's, uh, just some, uh, work thing on my mind. I was gonna see if I could use your printer for homework, but I'll come back later. Don't yeah? be silly, don't be silly. It'd be nice to have your company. So does this mean you'd be okay with helping me, then? Only I reckon my science teacher's lost the plot. <laughs> if you want me to. It's good to see you keen to do your work. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. Well, I would. I'm pleased that you're trying to turn things around after everything. I used to being in the good books. Lucky. You might have done some things wrong, but it'll never stop me loving you. Remember that, eh? Huh? <laughs> Thanks, Grandad. Right, uh, TV's on, snacks within reach. Daddy's just got to quickly finish something in the kitchen. Uh, can Victoria do it if you stay here? I'll be as quick as I can, I promise. Can't we go home instead? I'm tired. As soon as I've done this, then yes, we can go home. Daddy's tired too. Listen, it would really help me out if the two of you could just play nicely, just, just for half an hour or so. OK, then. Thank you. You heard, Daddy? We need to play extra nicely. Megan! Oh, my God, Jay! Is that you? Where are you? Oh, Jay! What are you doing here? You can't have a baby in the woods. Oh, you're not kidding. Right, l l let me help you. Oh. I can't move. You're going to have to, all right? Uh. We need to get to the car. We'll take it slowly. Daddy? Oh. Hey, sweetheart. Is everything OK? Leo's such Pamela. He doesn't oh. even like dogs. He's just been mean. Is it really that hard to show? It's not like Leo's going to hurt her, is it? He was. He's going to pull her head off. Right, just help me out here. Play nicely and I'll be done as soon as I can, OK? Please, come on. Yeah, but Dad, just come and sit with your brother. To I'm nearly done, off. darling. It... Please, honey. Aaron. Family, I've been calling you all afternoon. Well, my phone's been switched off. What's the big deal? Uh, Chaz has had a visit from DSYs. Um, well, what did he say? That the other witness, or Robert's little friend, Ryan, has pulled his statement. Has this got anything to do with you? So he's done it, then. Really is over. Or not. 
Uh, DSY said that they've charged Gordon anyway. Oh, seriously? They don't need any more evidence. They must think that yours is enough. Which also means that I haven't totally wrecked things for you. What's happening, Aaron? They're gonna get him. Dingle. It's just with it. Your son's going to be OK. I know things look scary when you first brought him in, but it was concussion from a bang on the head rather than blood loss that made him lose consciousness. Thank God for that. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Mr Dingle, your son was shot. We removed some gun pellets from his buttock. Oh, did you know? <laughs> well, he's a gamekeeper. Hazard of the job, some might say. <laughs> so you don't know who shot him? Well, a, a portrait, I presume. I mean, by accident, I mean, like. But you didn't see anyone nearby at the time? Nothing suspicious? He was out cold when we found him. We were just worried about getting him to hospital, weren't we, love? Yeah. Only we've a duty of care to inform the police. Just so you're aware. Oh, I see. Yeah. Well, you best do what you have to do then, aren't you? <laughs> Hi, darling. You don't know what's up with Grandad, do you? Why? What's the matter with him? Well, he was a bit huggy earlier. You know, like telling me he loved me and stuff. And, and that's bad, is it? Well, suppose not. He can tell me I'm awesome all day long if he likes. Maybe be grateful you have a Grandad that cares so much. Yeah, I am, but... Good. How are you coping with the pain, Megan? Not great. Only well, your birth plan says you'd like as natural birth as possible. I don't think you get more natural than nearly giving birth in the woods, eh? <laughs> Make sure you have some nice deep breaths in the gas and air. It'll help with the pain. I just want it to be over. I suppose I should be grateful I'm in hospital. I don't know what happened to Sam. Was that your friend? Oh, he's been asking after you, apparently. He was brought in early with an injury. What kind of injury? Is he OK? I don't know details. I'd say you've got enough to think about, as it is, though. Of course she has. <laughs> like giving birth to our baby. Right, well, thank you for your help, but you can go now. You're joking, aren't you? You can't do this on your own. I've managed everything on my own so far. It's usually the pain talk. Not in our case. He slept with my business partner. Why don't I get us some more pillows, see if we can't get a bit more comfortable? Can you just stop saying we? I don't see anyone else doing this. I can just see him out on the way. I'm not leaving, OK? I, I'll be waiting outside. Oh! 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 Megan, let me stay here, please. Uh, doctor said we could come and see you. Oh, well, I can hardly stop you like this, can I? Why she? I was giving your dad company. He's been worried sick. You don't look too bad, son, considering. <laughs> I don't care how I look. Some scumbag shot us in the bum, left us for dead. Aye, I know. But at least, uh, well, they're letting you out. They made us promise to keep an eye on you for the next 24 hours. Going nowhere. Megan might need me. The told us Jay bought her in. What's Megan got to do with anything? Just she wanted to labour in the woods. All going for help when I got shot. You didn't, uh, you didn't see who shot you? They were us from behind, didn't they? I can't do this. It wasn't a poacher that shot you, Sam. What are you on about? It was me. Yeah, well, I was after a wood pigeon and I, I must have nicked you by accident. No, I'm not letting you do this. It was me, Sam. I fired your dad's gun by accident. You've no idea how sorry I am. Is this some sort of joke? Look, you've every right to be angry, Sam. But uh, I'm begging you, don't tell the police that it was Johnny. I'm begging you, please. Oh, 
Hi. You all done? Yeah. Lisa was a star, weren't you? Oh, I don't know about that, but it's nice to be needed. Mm -hmm. At least I won't stop for that drink. Belle's still got something at ours. She was only supposed to be collecting them from footy for Sam. Mm -hmm. Bye, love. See you later. See ya. So, it didn't matter in the end, then. Jay not being able to make it. I'm sure he would have been there if he could. Do you know, I might just give him a quick ring and say, you know, thanks for sending reinforcements. Right, Leila, what can I get you? Uh, I'll have a large white, please, and there, uh, David's back in. Well, I'm busy doing this now, aren't I? All right, then, I'll have a BLT, too, if Marlon's around. He is, love, but he's not in the chirpiest of moods. Hi, Jay. Um, just wanted to say thanks for earlier, although I'm guessing you're pretty busy with something important because I did call before. So just, you know, give me a ring when you get a chance. OK. He'll ring me when he gets that message. Don't fancy a couple of drinks later in town, do you? Don't like you need cheering up. I'm fine. God, I'll ask someone else. How's it going? I'm driving myself slowly mad, wondering what's actually been real in my life. What do you mean? It's all real. Is it? Of course it is. Look, my dad, Jack, wasn't my biological dad, but he's my dad in all the ways I needed him to be. Whereas Billy, my real dad, he never really earned that trophy. Put it that way. You think I'm wrong to want to find out, don't you? Well, I think it takes more than DNA to be a proper dad. One to look out for you, to love you that much that he's prepared to go to prison for you. You know, you could be wiser than I had you down as. So you didn't see anything at all? I told you, I, I had me back to it. We know you've had problems with poachers recently. You sure you didn't see anyone? Look, I can't tell you how, OK? I'll let you get some rest for now, then. If you think of anything at all, you will call. Of course. No. See you, then. I take it you never said anything, then? Don't look like it, does it? Oh, Sam, I honestly don't know what to say. Don't say out. I didn't do it for you. Hey, hey, everything OK in here? No dolls having heads pulled off or any other body parts removed, no? Only because I let Pamela hide in the cupboard. Oh, fine, as long as you two are playing that... I'm nearly done here, OK? We're going home soon. Uh. Ow! Leo! I'm going to tell Daddy on you. Hey, don't suppose that BLT's ready. Not unless you've made it, no. All right, chill your boots. Sorry, I'm a bit stressed. Kids are playing up on me. Hang on, this is April we're talking about, the one who's more emotionally mature than me. Yeah, apart from... I, th I think she gets jealous of the extra attention Leo needs. I just, I wish she was old enough to understand because I feel really split between the two of them sometimes. Plus, I am totally, totally knackered. Right, well, if it makes any difference, I think you're doing an awesome job. You need to give yourself a break. I would, if I had the time. <coughs> just <coughs> keep doing what you're doing. I don't think I can do it anymore. You're nearly there. <coughs> Just last couple of big pushes, Megan. Your baby's getting a little tired too, by the looks of it. Okay. Okay, your baby's head's out. Jay, if you just push that red button. Okay, I'm gonna need someone to come and have a look at you, okay? It looks like one of baby's shoulders looks to be stuck. What? Jay, if you just stay up there, hold Megan's hand and, and tell her how well she's doing. <laughs> Shoulder dystocia. What's going on? That baby's shoulder's stuck. The heart rate's dropping. <sighs> She's gonna be okay, though. We'd like to get her delivered as soon as we can. Put it that way. <sighs> okay, what we need to do is we're gonna move her back a bit further. Just keep following what your body wants to do. <sighs> You're doing really well, Megan. Doing really well. Just, just listen to what your body's telling us. You're not stopping, all right? I only let you bring us home because I didn't want Lisa up at the hospital with her angina oh, and that. Oh, just, just sit down, will you? Uh, I want us to have a chat. <laughs> I can't sit down, can I, because of her? First, you nicked me dad off for Lisa. 
So then you go around shooting us. I told you, Sam, it, it was just a stupid accident. I'd do anything to undo it. What was she doing porching up there on any road? She could have lost me my job. Money's a bit tight. Yeah, <laughs> and whose fault's that? Why don't I knit back to Dan and Kerry's? Bring us back something to eat. Ah, uh, good idea. Don't bother. I don't want anything. I know you're angry at us both, son. But you can't keep pushing me away. Why? It's not like you care, not since you got with her. Of course I care. Have you any idea what was going through my mind at that hospital? I was scared stiff that I were going to lose you like we lost Ben and our butch. I told you I didn't want you stopping, didn't I? How would you feel if Samson shut you out when he gets bigger? Eh? Because you fell out over something. Would you love him any less? Would he feel less your son? No. No. So how do you think I feel when you can't even be in the same room as me? I love you, Sam. And I can't stand us being at odds like this. Aaron, um, I thought you might need a pint. If you don't hate me for jeopardising your case. Well, I figured it was your arrogant way of helping. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it how you want. Um, it gives me something to work with, at least. Listen, um, the other day you were right to keep your distance. After everything we've had thrown at us, I guess we should take the hint we're not good for each other. Well, you, you're not serious. All I need right now is for us to be mates. And if you can't manage that, then we probably shouldn't be having this drink. Well, fine, yeah, if that's how you want it. What's going on? Your baby's been through an ordeal. <laughs> Doing everything we can to give her a hand. She's not breathing, is she? We have to help her until her heart rate comes up. Which means what? The most important thing is we try and get her oxygen levels increase. Can I hold her, please? We'll need to take her to the neonatal ICU first, I'm afraid. <gasps> Why? <laughs> What's going on? Let's just get her to the ICU for now, shall just we? Just tell me. I realise how frightened you must feel, but try and think positively. We'd always rather be overcautious. Oh, I want to go with her. And you will be able to just as soon as we've got you sorted. I promise. I'm scared, Jay. Here's what they said. They have to be overcautious, don't they? <laughs> hey. Hi. Hi, fam. I've been in the pub thinking stuff over. I shouldn't have gone through Mum's things. Why not? You had every right to. Maybe. But it wasn't fair to imply that anything could make you less, my dad, because it couldn't. Couldn't it? You don't think not knowing for sure won't change things? You're my dad, OK? Who I am. All my memories, my ambitions, even my bloody-mindedness. <laughs> I get them all from you. You really mean that? You are the only dad I will ever have. Mm. I already know everything I need to know. You don't need to stop. Done what you wanted, not grassing Joni up. Oh, is that what you think all this is about? Yeah. You getting her off the hook? Don't know. Don't feel like a lawyer, you're right well anymore. Fine. That's how you feel. <laughs> Do you know, it feels like this family's on its knees right now. What with Debbie flitting just before her mum gets out and you and me at odds. I do want stuff to be all right between us. Don't know how it can be. Well, well, I'm not expecting things to be like they were overnight, son. Just that you'll, oh, give it a go. What? Give Lisa more aggro to deal with. Look, no matter how upset Lisa's been, she would not see you and me ripped apart. Not in the end. I just... Uh, I need to think about all this, all right? Yeah. Uh, thanks for bringing us home and that. Oh. All ah, right. Uh. 
This is Dr Galloway, who you saw briefly earlier. He's a neonatologist in the NICU. Where's my baby? She's still in intensive care. It's vital that we get her as stable as possible at this stage. At what stage? Will you please tell us what's going on? Your daughter went for a considerable amount of time without oxygen. Our initial examination showed that her brain was affected. It may only be temporary, but I'm afraid it's too early to tell if there is long-lasting damage to the brain. We can talk about the next step when you've had some time and you've gone down to see her. <laughs> they know more than what they're telling us, I know they do. Stop that. You heard the doctor. They don't know anything properly just yet. They do. Oh, they do. My baby's got brain damage. <laughs> If you've been affected by issues raised in tonight's episode, you can visit itv.com slash advice for further information. Mm -hmm.